Hi, welcome back to Cold Scare so today we're going to have a look at this. This is the GEP RC Cine Style 4K. So unlike these type of things, this isn't a Cine Whoop, this is an actual proper 3 inch and a very, 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 very good 3 inch with it has a camera fit in the front. So this comes with, 30, this comes with the F7 stable stack. So you get twin gyros, you get 35 amp PC and you get 500 milliwatt BTX, which is really nice on this. Comes with the antenna coming through the back of this TPU which is see through because it's got LEDs and on here you have the buzzer and on there you have the capacitor. Now the strange thing is in in the box you get one of these with an SMA connector on which obviously wouldn't fit on this anyway but I don't know why you get that in the box. You get two straps and so about you don't get any silicon mat which I was a bit of a surprise to be fair and this comes with the Gep RC 1507 3600KVs. I run this on a forest, which is what I've got on the top of here. And this is probably the ideal size. This is 6500, 650mAh six, forest. It performs perfectly. I was hoping to do a full review and have full flight footage on this. I can't do that because the weather in the UK is appalling as normal. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you a very little like minute flight of it flying outside my house. Filmed in 2.7K because I think this is the best quality you get out of this 2.7K 60. And it looks absolutely pin sharp. So let's forget about the camera at a minute. This thing flies amazingly well. This is just absolutely stunning quad. It flies superb. It's super smooth. It's quite a lot of punch to it. And it doesn't trick out. It's just a really nice thing. And then of course the benefit of this by putting the caddies on. So this has got the V1 caddies on the front of here. Not the V2. It doesn't come with the ND filter. It just comes with this. Which is a bit of a shame. But you don't get that with it. I have got a Eosheen LAL5 coming. I don't know if you've seen that, which is a 5 inch from Eosheen, which has the Cadix V2 in, so I'll have that up on the channel shortly, depending on when you're watching this video. Uh, that's on its way, so we'll have that review upon that. Again, it's a 5 inch, it comes from Eosheen, and this is 6S. Will it run on 6S? Well, that'll be half the fun to test it, won't it? I don't hold my breath. But if you've seen it, it does look a nice thing, so it's on its way, so we can test that out. But as for go back to this thing, it's very well made. The arms are beautiful, are nice and thick. There's hardly any flex in there. You can see underneath, it's a very nicely finished off piece of kit. I love the way they soft mounted the Tarsier and they've got this little plastic bracket underneath. The Tarsier is nice and protected and on some it isn't. So if you take that off, you can see, well actually you can see, look. You see there, it's already, that's where I smacked it in. And it didn't touch the camera. Not that I'm recommending knows it into something but these things can happen so yeah it's beautiful it really is a nice piece of kit it just flies smooth the motors feel fantastic on it and like I said I was hoping to get more of a flight video so I bought this which you've seen the video and if you watch this video you'll see all the settings for the Tarsier and how to set it up I'm not going through that today because it's just a pain so this is the Cine B4K when I bought this I should never bought this I should have bought the Gep RC version anyway this thing, camera, is decent, but you can't tell how good it is because this is just horrible. This this thing has got oscillations today, it's got prop wash. It's just not nice to fly, really. It's just basically, I don't think, I've seen a couple of reviews and there's people saying it's decent. And I've seen Andy Assey's review and he, I agree with Andy's. But I've seen some reviews and they're saying it. Like, when I reviewed this at first, I, I actually quite liked it. I've changed my review now. Um, and for the money this cost... There isn't that much of a difference. So, this isn't cheap, it comes in at 220 quid ish with a receiver. You can buy it non receiver wise, but I don't know how you're going to. I presume you have to take this lot off at the back to get into your receiver. But yeah, you can buy it non receiver. This is come with an XM Plus, and you can buy it in all the various, various iterations. So, I'm sorry I can't do a full video on it, but it's just it's quite new to the market, so I just wanted to let you have a first look at it. The video footage I've got coming up is about a minute and it's just me flying it outside my house in 2.7k like I said, which is best. I don't recommend using these CADXs at 4k because I don't think it's good enough at 30 frames a second. I think you need more than 30 frames a second when you've got some speed going. So I prefer to film in 2.7, 60 frames a second. So that's just my opinion obviously. So I will have some flight footage of this. I'll probably just do a flight and put the flight footage up just so you can see what it's like if the weather ever improves in the UK. But thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.
So thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.